Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another news video. Again, we literally had one the other day, but we're back with more news. So quickly, Illumix did release some more products for their store, which is officially out. I'll link it in the description, but we will be taking a look at it in today's video. Just briefly, though, because as you've seen in the title, we have some very very exciting news about FNAF AR's actual AR mechanic, because it's getting a big change and it looks amazing. So first off, let's take a quick look at the new products that Illumix revealed yesterday. Okay, so to actually my surprise, Illumix did release posters and mugs along with all the clothes that they uh, have on their store. I really wasn't expecting this, I was just thinking that it was going to be just clothes, but then again, they were hinting towards posters uh, even before the uh, store was probably announced. Like, they've been hinting about this since probably the reveal trailer, because everyone wanted the posters in the trailer. And guess what? Those posters aren't in the store. Nope, instead, Illumix did what Illumix does best, and they put promotional material on a piece of paper and are selling it for about $25. You may recognize these pieces of art. You have the first ever teaser for the game, and then they also have the cabin teaser, and then they also have the chocolate Bonnie and Easter Bonnie skin teaser. I don't know what their obsession is with chocolate Bonnie, by the way. <laughs> the first collection was entirely about him, and now they just are selling that teaser for some reason. Not any of the other teasers for the skins, like Mangle or Torchica and Frostbear. The mugs are all right, I'll be honest. They're not that bad. I actually do kind of like them. Um, you have the gang outside of the house, which is also promotional material for the game. It's actually a um, an image in the game, so nothing new there. Same thing with the Easter Bonnie and Chocolate Bonnie teaser. Um, and then they also have the the envelope on a mug for some reason. Uh, if you guys don't remember, this is not new. In fact, this is what Illumix sent to you. Not, not an actual envelope, but a PNG of an envelope that had this exact design when you got early access to FNAF AR when it first released in November, um, which I did. Small flex there, it was actually very easy. All you had to do was give them your email. And in fact, if you want to become a VIP for the official store, all you have to do is give them your email again. Apparently when you do this, you get special collections and you stay in the loop about future drops and exclusive deals. So I'm guessing they'll probably just send out emails be being like, hey, you know, we got a new collection coming out soon. Stay tuned and check out our Instagram and Twitter. So now we'll take a look at the actual store. And honestly, I mean, the layout looks good. I mean, it's nothing too groundbreaking. It just looks like a merchandise store which is what it is, so that's good. It shows the products per collection, which makes sense. You know, you start off, when you first get onto the site, it shows the Chocolate Bonnie collection because, again, Illumix loves Chocolate Bonnie. And then you scroll down and you can check out the, like, the, uh, the Let's Play collection and the Eternal collection. Okay, so now let's talk about the actual prices. They're what I was expecting, honestly. If you compare them to, like, YouTuber merchandise, they're about the same. So it appears that their most expensive thing on the store so far is the $45 Always Come Back Springtrap hoodie. They also have a $10 gift card that you can buy. I'm guessing for like birthdays and you know holidays for friends and family, which does make sense. The posters, all right, I guess uh, $22 to $25. That's the price range for those three. And then the mugs are $15 to $20. Also on this store, you may notice that they have uh, AR filter enabled next to some products. And that is because they actually did release a Snapchat filter with the merchandise store. But you can only access the filter by buying their products. I got the filter and I was wondering why it wasn't working and then I took a closer look at Kieran's post on Instagram. So as you can see, it scans your t-shirt, and then Freddy will jump scare. I mean, to be fair, the Freddy looks cool. He's got that red eyes, you know, he scares you just like in the game. It actually looks really similar to the jump scare in the game. I'm not sure if it's a complete copy and paste, but it does look very similar. But it does also look good. I mean, you can get it. It just, it doesn't do anything without the, uh, the shirt, so... And now we have some really exciting news, and I'm not being sarcastic. Normally I'm like, oh yeah, FNAF is 
doing a new thing. But this is actually very exciting, because Illumix is finally fulfilling a promise that they made, what, eight months ago? So when Illumix released the trailer for FNAF AR, everyone was super excited because the characters were actually interacting with the objects inside of the house. You know, you have Foxy, Bonnie, and Balloon Boy outside the window, and it actually looks like they're outside the window. You had Plush Trap just sitting on the chair, and it looked like he was actually sitting in the chair, and then the coolest part was Freddy chasing you down the hallway. Everyone was so excited to be chased by Freddy down the hallway, they couldn't wait, the game came out, and instead you stand in one place, spin around in circles, and shock the characters when they get close to you. Finally, after so long, after so so long, occlusion is coming to FNAF AR, and if you don't know what that means, I didn't either, so I'm going to explain it. Actually, I have a video that I'm going to show you that does a much better job at explaining it, so here, here you go. Your content, though, often looks like it's pasted on the screen rather than in the world. What if AR Core could supercharge your camera, bringing the world into your phone by giving you color and depth at every pixel that it sees? We've squeezed all of our software magic into the new AR Core Depth API, so that with just a single moving camera, we can give you 3D understanding of the world on over 200 million Android phones. This means that we can start properly occluding objects like our 3D Tiger. So instead of, and I'm gonna show another video as I talk about this, instead of Pikachu just running around on the sidewalk and it appearing that Pikachu is floating over those people in front of them, Pikachu will now go behind the bushes and behind those people's legs as he moves around, which is amazing. Seeing that tiger go from just in front of the bush, kind of floating on it, to actually being behind it and seeing it peek through the leaves, that is incredible. And so, if Lumix can successfully pull that off with FNAF AR, it could be so much better. <laughs> so much better. But remember when they said that they're using like features that can detect the distance between walls and that they were gonna put that in the game and then the game came out and they never did? It's gonna be like that, finally. Now, this feature is kind of out for the app. For some reason, it's only out on certain devices I don't know what those devices are, so I can't really give you any insight on that. It's not on mine. I checked. I checked the App Store and I checked the actual in-game settings and I don't have it. But I'm sure they're going to properly release it maybe soon? <laughs> maybe this month? Because if it's out on some devices, I would expect that it's getting near to completion. In fact, lots of people on the Reddit have submitted videos of it walking in-game with Springtrap and with um, Shadow Bonnie. And it does look really cool, like Shadow Bonnie emerging from the bush and from the trees. It looks really cool. Plus Trap, the character that everyone has been waiting for. He was in the first original teaser. He was in the first trailer. Well, that's kind of hard to say because Olympics put out like 10 million different trailers for the game. He was in, I think, the third trailer, the actual launch trailer for the game. And he's still not in the effing game. So, where is he? Well, Illumix did say that they wanted to wait until they had a really good mechanic for him. And I think this could be it. Because when you think about it, it makes sense. In FNAF 4, in his minigame, or, you know, Help Wanted, if you want to think about that, um, Plush Trap hides in rooms. You know, he dips into one room, he runs across the hallway, and he dips into another room. So if they can make it so that you're in a hallway with doors, and, and Plus Trap can run to those doors and hide in that room, that's gonna be great. That's really gonna be great, right? As he gets closer, you use the flashlight to stop him. Maybe it can have a counter? I don't know. I mean, Mangle has a counter. So they already have a timer in-game built. So they can put it to like, I don't know, what is it? 80 seconds or 60? I really can't remember. And then you have to stop him on the X, and then when he's on the X, you, you shock him? That would be great. That would be really great. Not only is that utilizing the new technology, but it's also very similar to his first ever appearance on the franchise. I think that would be really cool. 
That would honestly be really cool. I hope they do that. I hope they don't give him a really lame mechanic, because we've waited far too long for him to be released and have a really bad mechanic. I hope it's good. Anyways, I believe that is it. Let me check. Um, yeah, that's that's everything I have pulled up. So, we have that to look forward to. Alumix hasn't properly said anything about this new feature, even though it has been out for a couple hours. Well, I say out, again, only on certain devices for some reason. So they haven't said anything just yet, but hopefully they say something soon. I also don't know how long they've been working with this new uh, feature for AR Core. If they've been referencing it since, like, last year, again, in November, they were talking about, oh, you know, it can detect the dis distance between walls. Hopefully that means they've been working on it for a while, so hopefully that means it'll be released soon. I don't really know. I don't think we'll have to wait too long, seeing as some devices are getting it right now, so hopefully very soon, but that's not official yet. Anyways, thanks for watching. We have had a lot of news regarding FNAF AR, mostly because of the motion dice store, which, again, is out. I'll link it if you want to go buy something. Um, keep in mind, though, that the pandemic is affecting shipping times. I saw that on the website, so be patient. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the flip side. Bye.